Well, great to get to be with you again today. My name is Bruce Kennedy, and what a joy it is to get to share with you from God's Word, God's living Word, His treasure map for you and I, that we can live life and live life in the promises of God. I'd like to share with you today from Romans chapter 14, verse 17, and this may be familiar to many of you. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Oh, what a verse that is rich with life and rich with the promise of what God can do for you and me. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but is a matter of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And when I think about righteousness, I realize there is no way in my own power, in my own strength, in my own intellect, in my own thought processes, in my own emotion, in my own will, there is no way that I can become righteousness. It is Jesus Christ and only Jesus Christ that has allowed us because of his death, his burial, and his resurrection. He showed his authority over the grave and resurrected. And when we put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ, we are covered by his blood that makes us right with God, righteous. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And what a blessing that is to know that Jesus paid a debt that we could never pay for ourselves. And he willingly came and did that for us. For the kingdom of God is not of meat and drink, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And when I think about peace, I think about the scriptures that says, there is the peace of God that passes all understanding. And the reason that it is the peace that passes all understanding is because it's the peace that passes all understanding. And when you take that apart and look at that, we're talking about a peace that has a depth and a value and a purpose that's hard to describe and is easier to experience. When people yield their inner hearts, the very fabric of who they are, to the Lord Jesus Christ, there is an unusual peace that allows us to deal with circumstances in our everyday lives. And sometimes it doesn't look like peace at all. It looks, it is such a depth of peace that it almost looks like confidence. And this is a something that we should pursue, pursuing this kind of peace such that when the storms of life move in, our wheels don't fall off. For the kingdom of God is not of meat and drink, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And I love the word joy because God's joy goes so far beyond what you and I would think of as happiness. In fact, I don't even like to use the word happiness. It comes from, it's a derivative word, from happenstance or chance. And I know that you and I, we want to pursue and experience life with value and meaning and joy and not just by chance or happenstance or happy. I want you to understand that there is a level of joy that comes by knowing Jesus Christ that so overshoots happiness, that joy combined with peace and combined with righteousness. The scripture says it, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And when we allow God's Spirit to so fill us that we just allow Him to take absolute charge and control of our lives, then we can experience righteousness and peace and joy like we have never experienced it before. So let me encourage you right here, right now where you are, to allow your heart to be invested that God can take control of your life. Let Christ's blood cover you so that you may experience righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. God bless you so much, and thank you for letting me share with you today from God's Holy Word.